How are we doing folks? So, I'm not camping tonight, but I've got a new delivery. So I'm going to do a wee review tonight of the Plumley Canvas TP tent. Right, so, as well as the tent, they've also sent me the, the T1 Titanium Stove, which is the smaller version. Right, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a separate video for that. I'm going to do a wee comparison video, I've already got that the, the, the larger version of this, uh, with the, the, the screen at one side. But I'll make that a separate video, but right now, I'm going to basically do a review on the uh, Canvas 10. So, I'll get all the, the stuff out, give you an idea of what, what, what you get with the Canvas 10. And then we'll do a wee set up and show you what it looks like. So very similar to my Plumley Hex that I've got, but this one's canvas. So, let's get the stuff out of the box, or right, we'll show you what's in the box. Right, what's included? Right, well first of all, get the main body of the tent, which is the canvas TP. Right, so I'll go through all the sides in that in a minute, but that's the main body of the tent. Right, you obviously get the pegs, right, much like the, the Hex TP, again, good solid pegs, really solid, so these are actually slightly different, uh, especially with that one, but you can see the size. So that's for the main tie out points, these kind of heavy duty ones. And then you get the, the lighter ones for the other extra tie out points. Right, what else have got? You also get the half inner. So that's a great this is a great thing, great design about these TP tents, especially if you've got a hot wood burning stove. Uh, you've got the half inner sleeping section. So the half inner section there. Right, you can also get a floor except for the bottom of them as well. Right, but that's the half inner. You then obviously get a set of poles, so that's the centre pole. Then it comes with a nice carry bag. Right, you get the top cap, which obviously goes over the top section. Even looking at the size of this, I'll, I'll be honest, I think this is actually the bigger bigger version of the tent. Obviously I've got the Hex, we get the Hex Plus. So I think this is the, the biggest kind of size you can get. Right, and then finally, get the nice canvas bag. Which again, get the Formula logo on the front of it. So that's basically what comes in the, the bag with uh, the canvas tent. So what we'll do now is get it set up and show you what it looks like and give you an idea of the size of it. So first things first, we'll get the poles out. There's five poles in all. Obviously, the, the bottom and the top have both got kind of these kind of rubber stoppers. Right, and it is literally a case of it's basically just clipped together. You'll see these wee kind of nodes. So you just more or less push them down. And it basically slots into place. So you obviously do that with all five. Right then, the main body of the, the main body of the tent, basically just pop it out. 
This is this is definitely the bigger one. You can tell the sheer size of it. Once you've basically laid it out in the ground, then you're basically attaching the, the main kind of six points down the outside. So I'll show you what I mean. Right, so you've got six of these. This is actually a slightly different design for the hex. I quite like this. This is obviously a, a new addition to it. So it's also got these wee pull buckles. So that must be able to, so that you can kind of pull it taut. So what we'll do, we'll get the six of them in first and then we'll take it for there. Obviously for the, the six main points, you're going to use these heavy duty uh, pegs. Well, I've pinned out the, the six main pegs. Right, sometimes you've got to adjust this slightly once you get the pole in. Uh, but once you get the six main pegs in, it more or less is just a case of stepping inside it and putting the, the pole up and then that basically brings the whole tent up so I'll show you that just now This is where sometimes you can kind of fiddle about just to see what you get it so that it's probably not too taut. So what I'm going to do is just at least one of them just so that can do it. Right, but it really is, it's as easy as that. Right, then next, what you want to do is to get these additional smaller pegs, and basically there's further tie out points. So 
these ones that I lost it. I can basically just go down and attach each of these into place. Right, and then the final bit for outside the tent is this uh, cover. Right, obviously nice weather, you can leave this off, but it's not going to rain. You can, you can leave it off, but if it's going to be raining, you obviously want to have this on. So, I'm not the tallest, so we'll see how easy it is for me to get this on. And much like the the hex, it's just exactly the same. It's these V tool cords, and they basically just go into these V V clips. So obviously, you attach that all the way around. Right, so like I say, I'm only five foot eight, but I managed to get that first time. Right, obviously that overlaps when you finally bring it down, but easy enough. And that, looking at this, it definitely is. It's uh, it's it's probably the same size as the hex plus, but this is the one that's just made out of canvas. It's like the the hex, the hex plus. It's obviously like the the soap stove jack fitted. And what I like about this head is. It's uh, obviously as fire resistant, this green section, right? Uh, and it basically, it just rolls up and you use a wee toggle just to attach the, the flap on. Obviously we're not using it as a hot tent, this comes back down. But of course that will be used as a hot tent, so I'm looking forward to using this one as well. Right, so I'll, I'll roll that up, show you what I mean. There we go, all rolled up. And you just tie that on with the toggle. Obviously get the, the four guy guy ropes uh, to tighten it all up with as well. So what it does, I'll just unravel them. We'll get that all tied out as well. So that's the four tie out points tied out. Right. What I love about these tents is they open right up. So on a nice day, you've got loads of light into them. I need to sort that pole a wee bit. Looks a wee bit squint. Uh, once I've done that, and then I'll basically what I'll do is I'll put the inner inside as well. There's obviously there's a wee ventilation, wee ventilation window there. You can also open that up at the outside, like so. So ideal. Right, that last but not least is the half inner. That's basically folds out. Right then, all you do is you attach the, there's, there's four corners and you just attach them to the existing tent, tent pegs that are already holding out or out. Right, so as you can see here, they basically just attach on as well. Right, so basically all attaches, right, and there's one at each corner. Right, so that's those four attached. And then, last but not least, on the top section there, there's a wee clip. And what you do is, you get this section of the tent, and it's as easy as all you do is, is you clip that into this section up the top. So, that's the finished article. As you can see, just attaches on with that, that's it holds on up. And then, as for the doors, you've got, obviously, 
the door opens so direction much the same with this side uh, the other door so you obviously you can have it just with a bug net door or you can close it up fully as well as that you've also got the tie out points where you can tie the doors back and tie out points for that there's, there's two so that holds the, the door wide open but as you can see there's plenty of room inside Right, inside wise, I think say this is the same size as the Hex Plus. So, as I say, there's loads of room. I mean, there's, you can fit there, you can fit three folk in the sleep compartment. To be honest, you might even fit four, but three quite comfortably. So, a bit about the specs, right? So, one to three person. If you've got a tent and you've just got the, uh, the half adder up and you've obviously got the wood burning stove in. If you didn't have this in it, then it's a six person tent. And there's, like I say, there's plenty of room in it, there, there definitely is. Uh, capacity wise, like I say, one to three persons or three to six persons without this. Right, stove jack, it's got heat resistant, flame resistant material on it. Uh, it's got six. Uh, side snow skirts. It's also got two opposite doors. Uh, the canvas that's seventy percent cotton, thirty percent polyester. Waterproof wise, it's three thousand hydrostatic head, so pretty good. Uh, there's obviously no floor. Right, regular rectangle sides, uh, eighty-three inches. Uh, Four dimensions, it's 125.7 square feet by 11.68 square metres. Peak height, 106 inches or 8.83 feet. Weight, this one comes in at 18.7 pounds or 8.5 kilograms. So, obviously it's, it's not for carrying long distance camping, but if you're close by, reasonably close to your car, then obviously you can, you can hump it across. Uh, weight with a half half inner as well, that takes it up to 23.2 pounds or 10.5 kilograms. Right, the joint treatment seems to be glue. Ventilation, it's obviously got the top vent, which you can leave off, and it's got the bottom vent at the back. Uh, pack size, it's 24.8 by 24.8 by 5.9 inches. Comes in two different colours, you get the grey and you get the khaki. So I've always got the khaki one, and it's obviously as a four season tent, so looking forward to using this in the winter. don't know if I've, if I've missed anything. Right, woke up building up for looking at this, but it really is, it's a, it's a great tent. I really do like it. And like I say, the amount of space on it is fantastic. It really is a big tent. Loads of room, so ideal for winter camping. Obviously, I've not got the, the, the stove in it, uh, I'm not going to set that up tonight, I'll, I'll make that another video. So, that's me. I've got the, the kind of larger version stove, and I've now got the T1 kind of mini, which is made more for kind of backpacking. But I'll bring that back uh, in, a, in another video, and I'll show you the stove as well. What I'll maybe do is I'll do a wee comparison video compared the bigger titanium stove compared to the smaller one. But, must admit, pretty impressed. That is a good tent. So what I'll do, before I sign off, I'll just take you one last view round about the outside. Oh, forgot to mention, uh, on the inside with the ventilation, and I'll just show you this. So obviously with the ventilation at the back, that way. You can open that up and then that leads directly on, on to where the ventilation point is on the outside of the tent. So, good wee design. So I'm looking forward to using this. There's a slight difference with the hex. Uh, obviously the inner section's got this, it's, a, it's almost like a reflective silver 
kind of material on the inside, so it's kind of insulated. Whereas the only difference with the uh, canvas one is with the other hex, it's got that insulated material on the inside of the outer section of the tent as well. Whereas the canvas one doesn't have that, but it's still waterproof, so it's still going to do the job. But we'll give you one last week and kind I'll of look around the outside of it. So that's the Pomoy Canvas TP hot tent. Very nice. Must admit, I do like it. And it definitely, this is definitely the bigger one. So plenty of space, a lot more folk are going to be able to fit in this one. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of the Pomoy Canvas TP. Definitely has a good tent. Uh, Pomoy, great company, very, very. Uh, I was going to say their customer service is fantastic. If anything goes wrong with your tent or that, or, or they'll, they'll basically they'll deal with it, they'll send you out new parts, etc. So I'd like to thank Pomoy again for sending me out the gear that they've sent me because I really do enjoy using their gear. It, it definitely is. Great company, great tents. I, I, I like to say I've used my hex loads. I've also got the Bushcraft Shelter, which is another good wee tent. Obviously, that's the kind of the Baker, the Baker style tent. But my favourite kind of versions of these TP tents are just brilliant, especially on a wet, cold night when you can basically sit inside in the warmth and the dry. They're just fantastic. And then, obviously, on a nice night, you can have the doors open and if you've got a nice view in that, you can basically look out and look on it. Right, obviously I'm just going to have my back garden tonight, but we'll get this out shortly, uh, get a camp in it. So, hopefully that's given you a good idea, like I say, about the tent. Uh, so, that's it for me. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a wee thumbs up. Uh, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you can... Hit the wee bell as well, that will give you future notifications for my future videos. So, thanks again for watching folks, we'll catch you in the next one.